Well howdy 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 nearly seniors, say listen here, greetings boys and girls, and welcome to this, a brand new day. So please, keep your heads down. It's only three days a month the moon is full, just don't look up during those times. Now I know it's a thing among kids to look up at the sky during the full moon, but please don't, it's not a game. A lot of people my age grew up without fathers because of this, so please, moon full eyes down. Yes, indeed. It is Friday. Thumbs up for that today after Thanksgiving in the United States. Yay! I had for my Thanksgiving dinner a, um, well, it wasn't even a, what did I have for, oh yeah, it was potatoes. I had a plate of potatoes last night for dinner, and that was my Thanksgiving dinner. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> it's better than nothing at all, so I'm not going to complain. Again, no choker because my back of my neck is still right across where my sleep apnea mask goes. I have the big old zit still from that. It's largely, it's gotten a lot better from yesterday. It was really bad yesterday, but it must have like popped and semi-drained or some such because it's not that bad today, but I want it to clear up. So thumbs up for that. Well, I mean, it's fun having, you know, the ills of the flesh. Woo! Thumbs up for that. Yay! Last night I went walkies. Definitely a good thing. You know, it's always good to exercise. At first I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But then I eventually decided I was going to go for a walk. And at first, because I wanted to take a shower last night. And if I go for a walk, then I'm not going to be able to take a shower because it uses up most of my energy. But if I left early enough, maybe I'd be able to squeak in a shower. <clears throat> and at first I was unsure if it was gonna be the full six mile walk to Walmart or just walk downtown. But in the end, I just walked to Walmart and then came back and it was good. I had a nice six mile walk and then I was going to take a shower. But at 10 o'clock I was just, I was tired. I was just tired. Tired, tired, tired. So I just closed everything down, shut stuff down, and, and I went to bed. So by 11 o'clock, I was, I was gone. Excuse me. Hokey smokes. I drank some carbonated beverage before turning on the webcam. So my apologies for being an organic, carbon-based life form. <laughs> uh, let's see, what was I talking about? I know I was talking about kind of going for a walk and all that, but yes, I went for the full six mile walk and then I got back and I was just exhausted, so I went to bed. But I woke up five o'clock this morning. Actually, I woke up before that and then was just flip flopping side to side before it was like, eh, if I'm gonna take a shower, I might as well get up now and do it. So I did and I took a shower this morning. So clean and, 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 and yeah, so that's good. I mean, I'm clean even when I don't shower because I sponge bathe you know you hit all your trouble spots with you know a washcloth and so that's good but it's just I can't because I got started at about oh 5 15 because I got up at 5 <clears throat> it was about 5 15 when I got everything started you know trimming my beard getting it all shaved down this way and such like that and then hopping into the shower and by the time I got back up here it was around seven o'clock so because I cannot move quickly it takes a long time I am just ugh thumbs up for that some days I can do it faster, some days I can't, and I keep watching where I am on my chair because I, I notice there's times, you know, it's like I'm like this and it's my chair because I'm leaning. And so I'm trying to find the, the position where I've got good posture, but it doesn't hurt to be in that position because if I'm gonna be in a position where like my upper body is facing this way, my lower body is also facing like that way you know good old spinal issues thumbs up for that so I'm try to get things so that I'm aligned properly 
it's not comfortable. I don't like it, but you know, one of the things I do is I check my position of my chair because I make sure my chair is facing forward, and then I try to make sure that I'm facing forward, which means, of course, I've got to adjust my positioning all the time because I have that mild OCD. It's not really obsessive, but I do fixate on things. Everybody fixates on something. We can't help it, we're human. And it's good to be human as I struggle to maintain my centeredness because <laughs> I'm going to be leaning over this way again. I don't know why I lean in that direction, but I always have. That's one of the reasons that I severed the radial nerve on this arm is I tend to lean over in this direction. And if there's a chair arm there and I fall asleep, that puts pressure right on the nerve. And that pressure on your nerve is just like taking a rope and rubbing it over a rock until it just snaps. And because, yeah, when I went in, because my hand died and it was a couple days of just hoping that it was like an ulnar entrapment where the nerve gets caught and then the signals can't get through. But no, no, they did the, put the connector here and the connector up here and then try to run electricity through it to see if the connection was made. And no, my motor nerves were severed. So be careful. Please be careful. But yes, it was a nice walk up and then a nice walk back. Very, very cold. I've gotten to the point now that I finally, like last night and such, washed my summer jacket. So I'll be able to put my summer jacket over the top of the long sleeved plaid thing and then like a shirt and an undershirt and then that'll keep me plenty warm. That'll be good definitely a thumbs up on that but for right now because i hadn't had my coat washed i've put on two extra shirts and then the long sleeve shirt on top of that so boy oh boy as nice as the plaid thing is when it gets really really cold it's like one of those thermal blankets for your bed and the thing about a thermal blanket is yeah they they keep the heat in and they keep you warm but you got to put something over the top of them they're like insulation because you know they're round and fluffy and they have a lot of air in them but they're not warm themselves they don't hold stuff in it's like just putting insulation on and not coat covering it this side and this side with the wood to help keep things insulated and that's what the plaid jacket is like in the really cold weather there's nothing to hold the heat in even though it's good at holding heat, it's just you need another layer on the other side. And so I had to keep it buttoned up and all the way down and it was cold. When I got back, my hands moved very, very slowly. And boy, when you're that cold that your, your tissues only move slowly because they're cold. Yeah, that's cold. And occasionally you're going to be hearing things bouncing around out there. My housemates are up at a very early time. I was downstairs showering and it was like 6.30. And my one housemate was up and about. And now it's 7.30 and I can hear them both doing things. And they, they're both... Well, he, one of them gets up fairly early. The other, it's usually in the afternoon. for So for the both of them to be up at this time, must be something going on. So if you hear noises, hey, people. And then yesterday, I meant to do another video. I wanted to do three videos, just like I usually do. But I don't want to become just the old Minecraft channel. <laughs> as much as I enjoy Minecraft, I've been playing it for 10 years now. And there are times that I've just been fixated on it entirely and I've played nothing else for days and weeks during that entire decade so i'm fixated on it and i wouldn't mind becoming an all minecraft channel but i'm not so i don't want to have just everything that but i wanted to have another game but i wasn't sure what game to play and i was just feeling I'm, i've mentioned before how i'm going down into the trough and i think i'm in the bottom of my trough right now of my depression it, I have that cyclical thing where every two, roughly now, every two weeks I come up to normal and then boom, two weeks down here. And then two weeks up here and then boom, two weeks down here. 
I'm down here right now and so things are not a lot of fun and so I was <laughs> trying to that my housemates are coughing I was trying to get things together to play a game but I just I couldn't get up the energy and so I just let it go I had two videos yesterday that's good most successful channels to have like only one daily or every other day so the fact that I do two or three daily is pretty crazy right there thumbs up but yes yeah, still working on story ideas and still just taking care of my existence and trying to get things done I got a call from the cardiac people I have to call them back now to make an actual appointment appointment so that's good <clears throat> it appears to be from the name from the name and the phone number an Olympia number which you know is a half hour's drive away at the very least because it's there's you have to drive to get to highway 101 and then from highway 101 you take portions of the interstate highway and it's 20 miles on highway 101 alone so it's about 25 30 miles which is about a half hour worth of driving if you're lucky and things aren't crazy so it'll be fun I mean I used to drive to Seattle I used to drive from Bellingham Washington down to here you know when back when my wife and I would come to visit and then we drive back up so a drive to Olympia isn't bad just gotta hope my vehicle can make the trip <coughs> and hopefully it will definitely a thumbs up on that but past that still just surviving all of my little hamsters are doing well I'm so sorry that they're always sleeping little Gojira is asleep in her mason jar <coughs> And she is an absolute little sweetheart. I got to make sure that I don't get food or anything on my fingers and not wash it off properly because she will try to bite and eat <laughs> if something smells good. So got to be careful. She is the destroyer. And then, of course, little Dust Mop. He's always getting things just all tossed around in his cage. He can't help it. He's so fluffy. Everything sticks to him. And because everything sticks to him, he's dragging stuff around. And it just, his the inside of his house just gets all tore up. I gotta help him out, but he is an absolute sweetheart. I don't see a lot of Dr. Snurf because he spends most of his time over in his nest inside of there. But when I do take a look and I see him up and about, I reach in and I pick him up and I bring him out. And you know, he just stays on my hand when I do that. And then I let him run around on my chest and then I put him back in and he's good. Little Figmo is doing well. He's not up and about right now, but I see him down there and I don't bother him a lot because I don't want to bother him because of his nervousness but he's doing well and of course <coughs> I am so sorry I can't shake this stuff off little saber slash cream in her cage is doing absolutely awesome and that's a good thing too I love my little hamatrons it is a very good thing I don't want more than the five I have in fact I didn't even want five but I felt bad for the rescue and had to rescue and I had I can take care of five and I'm doing so successfully so it was good definitely a thumbs up past that just trying to survive trying to take care of myself trying to take care of things one thing I do want to do is start writing stories to get this fiction podcast going so hopefully tomorrow I am going to start because I want to do a read a short story like every single day or every other day I don't want to set myself up for failure and then get that done and start doing so hopefully hopefully I'll be getting that started tomorrow definitely a thumbs up and this one will be a little short so I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments my community tab and I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment if I mispronounce a username no disrespect is intended I get lost so that's why it's a range of 20 to 25 and I'm not reading the comments right now I'm gonna read them afterward right now just thanking you for having left me a comment thank you so very much 
So when I call up my, I closed my Chrome because my Windows was just driving me batty. And then I forgot about that and started recording as I turned on my webcam. So my sincere apologies. What's happening right now is I am loading up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. <sighs> my sincere apologies. There, where, 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 is this it? Hopefully this is the comments. Channel comments. Oh, I hate the YouTube studio thing. Ugh. Let's see, I'm gonna have to take this back to the YouTube classic because the, the, the new thing sucks so badly. It is so hard to use, it's terrible. I loathe and despise it. When I had it open on the new thing, it was hard to read and it shows like three comments on a page. I've now flicked back to the old one where it's got easily 10 or 15 easy to read comments on the page in a good format. So, of course, they're getting rid of that because it's easy to use and functional, and they're going to that full, hard to use, hard to read, non-functional junk. Yay! And of course, get off my lawn. Darn you, cloud. I am an old man. Okay, we have finally <laughs> Cloud420. Thank you very, very much. And Barry Chase, thumbs up and thank you. Logan Griffin. I'm not quite sure what you meant, but I'll go with a thank you. Adam B., greatly appreciated. Kathy Kitkat, thumbs up and thank you. And my penis is unbelievably small, but thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up and thank you. Then we have MS, thumbs up. Slip.boy, 0416i. Thumbs up and thank you. Stephen Blanchard, greatly appreciated. Bailey Snyder, thumbs up and thank you. Valen Sanchez, greatly appreciated. Igor Tokarski, greatly appreciated. Lady Bunny, <laughs> I like the name, thumbs up and thank you. Savannah Wyatt, greatly appreciated. Zed, yeah, that's a 10, isn't it? Right, right? And Rick, or I don't know where I am. What did I do? Was that 15? So that would be 16. I think I'm at 16. I've gotten lost entirely, so I, uh, here's hoping I'm even close. And Zor, thumbs up and thank you. 97, greatly appreciated. And Russian Timing, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisnauer, greatly appreciated. Midas, thumbs up. Zulbi Zibble, <laughs> Z-L-B-I-X-B-L, greatly appreciated. Darkness Falls, thumbs up and thank you. Daniel Rupp, greatly appreciated. And Mr. Sixpack, thumbs up and thank you all. Greatly appreciated. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And even when I get confused and forget where I am, it is a very good thing. I will forget where I am counting. I don't forget where I am. Forget where I am. So, thumbs up on that. And of course, if you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money to one of those places, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money out of an Amazon wish list as well, with things like cat food, hamster food, silly things, non-silly things, if you could check that out, that would be awesome. Do not feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. I don't know why my voice faded there for a moment, but there you go. I am a human being. Much to my own dismay. <laughs> Indeed. Checking my chair to make sure it's still faced and see how I'm doing. Definitely a thumbs up. Very good. So, I have this video. I have another video I need to edit and render. I have hopefully another video that I'm going to record, edit, and render. Definitely a good thing. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing. <laughs>